The Manhattan Midge is a bunch of midges kind of rolled into one. It has a slim profile, flashy wing, and a peacock collar. Adding in a glass bead and larva lace segmented body makes it the complete package for selected trout. Start out with a curved shank hook. This is a size 20 Daiichi 1120. Pop on a clear or colored up glass bead and secure the bend of the hook in the jaws of your vise. Start a base of thread behind the bead and secure it to the hook shank. The body of this Manhattan is made of the original larva lace material called midge lace. It's a hollow stretch tubing in micro sizes for small flies. Cut a small piece from the cord and capture the material just behind the bead. As you wrap rearward to secure the rest of the material to the hook, pull on the midge lace, stretching it out and decreasing its profile on the hook shank. Once you get down around the bend, bring your thread back up behind the bead and begin making consecutive wraps with the midge lace towards the eye. If you want to alter the thickness of this body, again try stretching the tubing as you wrap to give it a thinner profile. Less tension on the midge lace will make it a little more robust although still streamlined. I appreciate how the midge lace naturally creates body segmentation without the need for wire or mono ribbing. Capture the midge lace and trim away any excess. The wing can be made of many different materials, but for a bit of flash, I'm gonna use pearl diamond dubbing. Just a small pinch from the pack will work fine, capturing the center of this clump with a pinch wrap just in front of where you finished with the midge lace. Fold all remaining dubbing fibers rearward and secure those to the hook as well. And we can trim the wing to the desired length with a sharp set of scissors. I tend to just rest my scissors on the body to make the cut. Angle the scissors forward for more of a flat wing or leave them vertical to make your wing come to more of a point. Finally, one or two strands of peacock curl will complete the thorax. I prefer a thinner profile hurl feather for these small flies. But you can always trim down excess if you're using longer hurl fibers. Capture the material in front of the wing and leave your thread behind the bead. A few wraps of hurl is all you'll need, securing the tag end and then pulling away or trimming the excess, or both. Midge patterns can pay dividends throughout the year. Hope this one helps you out. Here are all the materials we use to tie up some Manhattan midges. You can also use thread and wire bodies or saltwater angel hair for a higher definition midge body. Get in touch with Lori to order the best synthetic materials on the market or go to Hagensfish.com to check out all they have to offer. Show off your well-tied flies and get answers to all of fly tying's biggest questions in the Fly Tying University Facebook page. It's a community for all fly tires. Larva Lace is a proud partner of the Fish Stories Archive, where people can record angler voices and preserve them for the future. Thanks for tying with Larva Lace. Tight lines.